Trello gives us so many different options on how we can add information to our cards. You can add labels, you can add colors, you can add due dates and checkboxes and so many different pieces of information to an individual Trello card. But maybe you want to add something a little more specific. Maybe you would like to add a custom field. Depending on how you work or perhaps what industry you work in, that might be very beneficial for you to start using custom fields. So today I'm going to show you how to use, how to add custom fields and edit those fields so that they can appear on your cards and you can use them as frequently or as often as you need to. To do so, we are first going to have to enable the custom field power-up. So to do so, click on your menu and then come down here to power-ups. Now, noted, if you are using the free version of Trello, the basic version of Trello, you are only allowed one power-up per board. So for example, I already have my custom fields power up enabled in this case, but if you're wanting to use more than one, let's say you're using the uh, the calendar power up and you want to use the custom fields power up, you will need to upgrade your Trello plan. But for today's example, I'm just going to use the uh, free version as an example. So after hitting enable here on the right hand side, you are going to see a gear icon here. And by selecting the gear icon, you actually have to make one more selection and that's the edit the power up settings. And this is where we can start adding custom fields that will appear on our card. So the first option they give us is to add a field. If we select the add a field option, we need to give our new custom field a name. And let's say I want to, this first one is going to be the name of a person. So I'm actually going to label it as name. And from the drop down type, I'm going to select text. So this field is just going to be used for, you know, entering someone's name. Um, the final option I have here is what I like this uh, this custom field information to show on the front of the card. You're probably already familiar with things like uh, check boxes and due dates and and if a card does have notes that you have some little icons, some little indicators on the front of the card if that information is present. Now by default when you're adding a new custom field this is going to be unchecked but if this is information you would like to see you can simply check that box and then it will show on the front. I think I'm going to check this one just as an example so we can see it when we go and apply it to a card. So I'm going to hit save. Now the great thing is is that you're not limited by the number of custom fields that you can add to a card. So we've just added the name field here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some additional fields as well. So I can add another text type if I like, but there's actually five choices for us to choose from. We can include a number, we can include a checkbox, we can include a date, or a drop down list. And remember, these will behave differently than the existing checkbox functionality or due date, for example. So maybe you just want to capture a date. It's not a due date. You just want to capture a date. That's the type of type. That's the type of custom field that you would select. The checkbox is going to be uh, an either or checkbox. So this is not going to be a list of items. This would simply be a yes or no checkbox for you to, uh, to select from. And then a drop down list can probably be very, very helpful if there is a list of selections that you regularly need to uh, choose from or you want members of your team to choose from. The drop down list can be uh, very helpful in that case. So let's let's pick checkbox in this uh, in this case here, and um, and maybe the uh, the name of this checkbox is going to be uh, we recorded a name in the in the first one. Let's say um, were they uh, were they satisfied? Uh, was the customer satisfied or, or something to that uh, to that effect? So I'm going to say satisfied. I'm going to leave this one unchecked this time around to show the field information on the front of the card, 
and I'm going to hit save. Now again, you can continue to add additional fields here. You can also add fields within the card, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. The last thing I want to show you is the button name. Now by default, the name is custom fields. That's what we're going to see within the card, but we can even change that as well. So I'm going to just change it for this example. I'm just going to say uh, more info or, or maybe more details would make more uh, would make, make more sense. So I'm just going to say more details details. That's going to be the name of the button. And now let's go take a look at how that looks on a new or an existing card. So I'm going to come over here. This is a, a test card here. I'm going to open it up. And here under the heading power ups, you see there's our new button titled more details, or we can label it whatever we want. And when I click on that button, it's going to give us the options that we specified. So here's the, uh, the, the name. I can put in the, the name of the person who maybe helped me in this, uh, in this example, if that's what we're trying to, to capture. And was I satisfied or not? I can check that box or leave it unchecked, depending on, uh, I guess, the level of my service. And I can hit save. And now you can see just above the description and just below the title, you can see those two fields now appear. I have the name. I have the satisfied. It's no or yes. And if I click on them, I can toggle them and change them as well. I can change the name just by selecting on them here. Let me click this one back to yes, and then I'm going to uh, minimize the card. And lastly, I want to show you, you remember with the name field, we said that we wanted it to display on the front of the card, and there it is. So now we can see, uh, I can see the name of that person on the front of the card. And if I go to any other card, let's, let's add a name uh, to this one over here. Um, I'm going to say Jane. I'm going to say I was satisfied this time. Hit save. There we see the name now appears and the front on the front of that card. So again, it could be a date. It could be a drop down menu. It could be a, a number that you are trying to attach. You can give it any label that you like and you can even edit it within the card. So instead of going back to the menu, let's click on this card. And I'm going to click on the more details. Uh, that's the label we gave it. You can see that the settings option is also located here. So if I select this, I can either edit the ones I've uh, already created, my existing fields. I can edit the button name if I'd like, or I can keep adding fields. Uh, you know, maybe I want to uh, add a, uh, a date here. Maybe I want to add a, uh, a start date. You know, we use a lot of due dates in Trello. What if I want to add a start date? When did this really uh, get underway? And just for fun, I'm going to say yes, show it on the front of the card. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to click over here. And now when I hit more details, hey, look at that. I've got a date and a time field that I can, uh, that I can select. I can hit save. It's going to be recorded here and it's going to show on the front of the card. So explore some of the uses of adding custom fields to your Trello board. Again, it may be particular to your industry. Maybe there's some certain words that you and your team use on a regular basis, and it would be helpful to include that within a Trello card. Let me know how you find using custom fields. I'd love to hear your experience if you have used custom fields in the uh, in the past and how that has benefited uh, your workflow how that's benefited your productivity if you have not already subscribed to the simpletivity youtube channel i would encourage you to do so we would love to hear from you we would love to hear what you think about trello and custom fields remember being productive does not need to be difficult in fact it's very simple